sunshine. Now I hope you are having a lovely, lovely day today. And I hope everything is blessed in your life in the name of Jesus. Well, my husband's going to bring forth a word. And it's a really good word. And when we look at it, there's only two words, but there's a lot in that, them two words. The bubble. So we, when I think about it, and we go out during the day, and I always say, we need to be in a bubble. So that word, we are just an example of Psalms 91. In the shadow of Father's wings. So we're sheltered around this safety net and perimeter where we call the bubble. So that way we don't go out of it, we stay right in it. So, sunshines, we are great. Because we are great in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day, sunshines. Hi, I'm Dee Sham. Thank you, baby, for that beautiful introduction. I tell you, my wife is an anointed woman of God. On the inside, she's anointed. And on the outside, she's an anointed beauty. Thank God for his goodness in my life. Well, my wife and I, we have a wonderful word of encouragement for you today. It's called the bubble. Okay. So, I'd like to take you back as a child when you would play in your bed and you take your blanket and you put it over your head and maybe you'd have a flashlight and if maybe there was a sleepover. And as long as you were in your cave or in your little bubble, you felt safe. Now, some people have taken it or took it to another level as a child. They were able to build a tree house and they'd build their tree house. And as long as they were in their tree house, they would consider themselves safe or that's their fortress or in modern day terms, that would be their bubble. Okay, so let's uh, let's take it back even further. Noah, he was in an ark back when the Lord reigned on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And although he was in the ark with his family, those total of eight people, the eight people, including the animals, a whole bunch of unclean and clean animals, they were on the ark as well. They were considered safe as long as they were in the ark or in the bubble. So the bubble what it represents is a place of safety, of protection, of being in a 360 degree bubble where let's say you can't be harmed or you can't be touched. I have a definition for you because our God that we serve, he is a fortress and a shelter. And it reads, protection or shelter as from danger or hardship sought refuge from the storm in a cabin. I'll just read number one for you as I put the other three up on the screen. So as we see here what a refuge represents, what a fortress represents. Now let's go to the Word of God so we can get a further understanding of what the psalmist considers a refuge or a fortress. Grab your Bibles. Turn to the 91st Division of Psalms. And we'll start at verse 2. And we'll just read one verse in your hearing. Of course, I'll put it up on the screen. And I will read it for you. It is written, I will say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. As we see in the Word of God, the psalmist makes it clear that God is his refuge and his fortress, his protection, his shelter. He didn't say money was. <laughs> he didn't say a big bodyguard was. He said the Lord was. We see when you have a right relationship with God, you can trust God to be your refuge and your fortress. But as we know, God doesn't take our protection lightly. He takes it very seriously. If he sent his only begotten son to die for us, then our care is very precious to him. 
And when we are in right relationship with him, then we're living in so to call a bubble. Let me give you a few examples. You know, Joseph's brothers, they wanted to kill him because Joseph was in a right relationship with God and Joseph had to fulfill purpose. They could not kill him. He was in a bubble. When all the other rulers and all the other people who were governors were in charge and they accused Daniel of praying to his God and they wanted to kill him by throwing him in the den of lions, the lions could not kill Daniel because he had a right relationship with God and he was in, so to speak, a bubble. Let me give you this last example. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That was their slave names. As you know, King Nebuchadnezzar wanted to kill them. He turned up the fire seven times hotter in the furnace. But the furnace did not kill them because they were in a right relationship with God, so they were considered in a bubble. So, God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. One thing you must understand that all these men I spoke of, they eventually died. But when men wanted to kill and take their life prematurely, they couldn't. Even like Noah, when the storm and the rains, they came. And everybody else, they were killed except those that were in the ark. Every other animal that didn't get into the ark was killed. But we see the pattern of God. When you are in right relationship with God, Psalms 91 leaps off the pages and it is not just something you quote. It's not just mere words. It is spirit and it is life to the believer. To the believer in right relationship with God. It's like having money in your bank account. When you have money in your bank account, you can use your ATM card or you can go to the bank and make a withdrawal because you have a right relationship. You already have something there stored. As we walk with God, it is very important and vital that we stay in right relationship with God. We're living in a worldly pandemic and that's just one of the plagues, so to speak, as my wife calls it that has occurred in our world today, not in our nation, in our world. We have hurricanes, we have wildfires, we have floods. We have multiple crazy things, cracks in Mexico, things that just cannot be fully explained. But what we know as believers, when we are in right relationship with God, we can expect his word to leap off the pages and become spirit and life. So for us, we are living in the bubble. <laughs> if you're not living in the bubble, please seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only for salvation, but so that you can be protected. So right now in 2020, although this year is not complete, there is still more to come. Now I'm not a prophet per se, but the way things are going, it's just beginning. And as my wife and I would love to encourage you, we want to encourage you to be in a right relationship with God so that you can be in the bubble. Have a blessed day. Thank you.